traigo este juegazo que es el de Final Champion. En lo personal a mí me gustó mucho este juego. Yo tenía mucho tiempo. De hecho este juego ya es viejo. Yo tenía mucho tiempo queriéndolo agarrar. Y ahora finalmente la vez pasada que hubo ofertas de EA Sport y de IA. Me lo compré. Este, les voy a, a estar trayendo peleas virtuales así. Como esta que vamos a ver enseguida. Que es el Canelo Álvarez contra Floyd Mayweather. Bueno, vamos a proceder con la pelea. Vamos a hacerla aquí en el MCM Grand. ¿okay? Cabe mencionar que les quiero agradecer a todos mis amigos que me han estado apoyando. Quiero que recomendarles un canal que es el de Gia Wichinini. Ese es de un amigo. Tengo otro canal de otro amigo que es el canal de Invo Gamers. Muy buenos canales, la verdad se merecen pues, que la gente vea sus videos. Quiero agradecerles mucho a ellos. A, al clan, quiero mencionar algunos clanes: al clan Pika, el clan, el clan Pika de Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Quiero mencionar al clan. Al clan Koba, de ese clan es de Battlefield 4. Y quiero también mencionar a los grupos mexicanos, que ese es mi crew de GTA V. Y a Ingo Gamers, que es otra crew de GTA V, de un amigo mío, que es Carlos 85. Se la recomiendo también a esa crew. Muy agradecido con todos ellos por su apoyo. Este, y pues bueno, vamos a. Estamos viendo las entradas de los boxeadores aquí. Ya entró el Canelo, por supuesto yo voy a manejar a Canelo. Pero está entrando Flow My Weather. Quiero mencionar que lo que me gustó mucho de este juego son los gráficos. Son los gráficos muy buenos, se nota hasta cuando le estás haciendo sudar a los, a los boxeadores. Y muy bueno, muy bueno este juego, me gusta mucho. Estos boxeadores yo los descargué de en línea. El Sapillo Alvarez. Alvarez. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Okay, let's have to set up that. 36 minutes still ahead of him here, round one of 12. Obviously, the speed fighter has that mental edge over the low stamina fighter, but how can the low stamina fighter turn that around? What he can do is maybe come out fast, kind of throw a little con game at the fast fighter. Let him think he wants to fight a fast fight, and the next thing you know, the fast fighter settled down a little bit. The other guy would get the pace he wanted. Well put together combination by Alvarez. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Oh, a huge shot brings down and he's on the floor. Y no lo tengo en fácil, eh. Tengo en normal. A choice to make right now. Um. Mayweather 
this corner needs to really get to their man after this round. They need to treat him after that knockdown. They also need to give him some sound advice. What's the advice you give him? Well, first of all, if they're going to get the chance to get to him, he better move his head. But the advice I would give him is, hey, you go out this next round and you kill some time. Tie him up a little bit right from the beginning. Don't worry about losing the early part of the fight or the early part of the round. Just get yourself back together. Targeting the uppercut, and it worked. Stay away from Money's the kind Come of boxer on. that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Alvarez is knocked down, scored in that last round. Has a certain tone in that corner that every trainer wants. They are bubbling with confidence. They know they can go out and accomplish things again here. Start of a new round, but will it be much the same? Mayweather's been down numerous times tonight, Teddy. Well, if there was a mercy rule like there is in Little League Baseball, guess what? It would be invoked right now, and this would be over. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Very precise double jab by Alvarez. A stinging uppercut, Ricardo Alvarez is... Lands flush with the two-punch combo by Alvarez. Blocks the headshot. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Halfway through round number two. Money's making me question how his legs are right now. I'm not sure that he's all too secure and steady on those legs after that knockdown. Just like he's tying up a lot here. Yeah, well, you don't have to wonder. You're saying you're not so sure. He Just ate a big uppercut. He's in bad shape. Money's damaged by a left hand. Come here. Glitch. He's in bad shape. He does not look good at all. He could go down at any moment, Teddy. Yeah, he wishes right now this was in an outdoor arena because maybe rain could come and stop it because I don't know what else could help him right now. He just missed that shot up top. Now this can become a bore, and he's making a decision to do it as he ties up again. Alvarez is doing well here with that two-punch combination. So end of the round, a round in which he was able to get to his man there. Stunned him there. Kind of got momentum now, doesn't he, Teddy? Yeah, he does. And you know he's going to want to build on it. He doesn't want to get reckless, careless, but he's want to keep it going that way. Alvarez is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Come up, come well off the mark by Alvarez. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Money's got to be careful right here. Now, I know he was stunned earlier. He's using the ropes and using the corner, trying to support himself. But he's a sitting duck, isn't he? If he does not move he needs to now. He's going to stand right in front. He's got to be like one of those old-time fighters who could move his head. He's standing right in front of you, and you couldn't hit him. You got this. Jump on it. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Alvarez. Money's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Southpaw right jab, then the left hand. Clinches when he gets to the inside. 
Needs to improve that accuracy. Miss with the headshot. Now that is clean. Oh yeah, yeah. Now that's the thing. Get away. Just the barrage continues. He's knocked down again. But his desired heart is just as strong as it was before. Teddy, what do you like about him so far? Well, I like the fact that he's busier, but I also like the fact that when he's not working, he gets out of range and he doesn't allow his opponent to win. That's why I got him winning. Locks away that headshot. Good job, good job. Mayweather's been hurt by that shot. You can tell he's just looking to survive. Money's holding his opponent right now, just hugging him. Yeah, he's doing what he has to do. Look, they work on this in the gym, Joe. We look at all the things where you work on the pads, you work on the heavy bag, putting punches together, but you work on this, on moments when you're in trouble and when you have to survive. Mayweather sitting back right now, Teddy, and looking for that counterpunch opportunity. Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. He's waiting, you know, he sees that his opponent is in his armory, so to speak. You know, he's in his castle. He's getting him to come out of his castle. He wants him to come out of his castle, so now he can attack. Good-looking two-punch combo by Alvarez. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. How is he going to survive this? Once again, he hits the deck. He's going to have to find a way. Eso ha sido todo por hoy. Les voy a seguir trayendo más peleas. Este parte de la historia también, que es una historia muy interesante. No queda nada más que decirles. Muchas gracias por ver mi video. Muchas gracias por darme preferencia a mi canal. Y nos vemos hasta el próximo video. Adiós. Uh -huh.